So, how to motivate someone to pray to God and to love God and serve God? Jinsi unavyoweza kumchochea mtu kumpenda Mungu na kumtumikia Mungu? That God has so many blessings prepared for us. Mungu ako na baraka nyingi alizotuandalia. So anytime we pray to him he's very happy to give us pray to him with a pure heart he's very happy to bless us. Wakati wote unapomuomba katika moyo mkujufu ako tayari kumimina zile baraka katika maisha yetu. And then to love God because God loves us first na kumpenda Mungu kwa sababu Mungu alitupenda wa kwanza. And anyone who loves God, God will prepare for him things that he has never imagined. Mtu yule ambaye anampenda Mungu, Mungu ataachilia kwenye maisha yake vitu ambavyo ni zaidi ya mawazo yake. What God prepared for him is what eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and a human mind has not thought about. Ni mambo ambayo macho yako hayajawaiona, ni kitu ambacho mawazo yako hayajawahi fikiria, ni kitu ambacho haujawahi kitazama kwa macho yako. So God has all these wonderful blessings prepared for those who love him. Mungu akona hizi baraka zote ameziandaa kwa wale wote wanaompenda. So that more way us to love him. Sasa hiyo inatuchochea ili tukampende Mungu and to serve him na kumtendea Mungu God wants to bless all people in the world Mungu anataka kubariki watu duniani kote So anyone who has a heart to serve God and bless the people mtu yote yule ambaye uko na moyo wa kumtumikia Mungu na kubariki watu God is very happy with them Mungu anafuraha na yeye Even when they give a cup of cold water in Jesus name hata kama anapopeana kikombe cha maji baridi kwa jina la Kristo Yesu he will not lose his reward yeye hatapoteza thawabu yake so anything we do with a pure heart God will reward us so tukile unachokifanya katika moyo ulio safi Mungu atakujalalisha this is the motivation with the grace of God hiyo ina maana kwamba mtu huyo amechochewa na neema ya Mungu now there are motivation with the law too na sasa pia kuna kule kuchochewa kwa sheria People don't pray they not in Jesus that they will be like branches cut off. Na sasa mtu ambaye haombi na maana kwamba hayuko ndani ya Kristo, yeye ni amefananishwa na lile tawi ambalo litakatwa. He will be thrown into fire. Na hilo tawi litatupwa kwenye moto. And then if a person doesn't love God, curse it is here. That's first Corinthians said. That if a person doesn't love God, curse it is a person. Aha, mtu ambaye hampendi Mungu ni mtu ambaye amelaaniwa. Maandiko yasema hivyo kwenye kitabu cha Wakorinto. This is a motivation from the law. Yaani mtu huyu amechochewa kutokana na sheria. The warning from the law. Yaani huyu mtu basi ilaani inatoka kwenye sheria. This is another main motivation. Na haya basi sio mambo ya msingi ya kutetea mtu. But we have to realize there is one in the Bible. Lakini inafaa tujue kwamba kuna kuchochewa kwenye Biblia. If a person doesn't serve God and bears his talents, mtu kama hawezi kumtumikia Mungu na afukie basi talanta yake kwenye udongo ama kwenye ardhi. Be thrown into the outer darkness. Mtu huyo anaweza kutupwa nje kwenye giza kubwa. And that we are not saved by doing good. Na unjue kwamba hatuokolewi kwa kutenda neema, but we are saved by faith in Jesus Christ. Lakini tumeokolewa katika njia ya kuwa na imani kwa Kristo Yesu. But when we really have saving faith and we will bear fruit. Ya kwamba tunapokuwa na ile imani inayookoa basi tutazaa matunda. Okay? And then uh The next question is Swahili lingine ni hili How to speak the words of grace and the words of the law Unaweza kuzungumza vipi maneno ya sheria na maneno ya neema in a gentle way katika njia ya upole Yesterday we talked about how to speak grace a words of grace to bless people Jana tulijifundisha jinsi ya kunena mambo ya neema kuwabariki watu and then with the law we can say these words basi kwa unapotumia njia ya sheria waweza kuzungumza mambo kama haya words of guidance maneno basi ya kupeana mwelekeo guiding the person to to uh, handle the problem basi kumusaidia mtu ili akapate kushughulikia tatizo analo and then uh, teaching na mafundisho and then telling someone to do something na kushutisha mtu kufanya vitu and then accusing na sasa huyo mtu unamshutisha and condemning na unamhukumu but all this can be said in a gentle way lakini mambo haya yote yanaweza kusemwa kwenye njia ya upole okay and then this morning 
Asubuhi ya leo, then you present the house I talk about. Sasa amezungumza kuhusu nyumba. Everything is in God's hand, no one can run away. Ya kwamba kila kitu kiko katika mikono za Mungu na hakuna anayeweza kutoroka. If we love God and obey him and serve him, tunapompenda Mungu kumtii na kumtumikia. He bless us and reward us. Atatubariki na atupe zawadi. And then if we don't love him and don't uh, obey him and don't serve him, na kama hatumpendi na pia hatumtumiki, there will be destruction. Kutakuwa na uharibifu. So that's what we talked about this morning. Na hilo ndilo ambalo amelizungumza leo. Kwa hivyo anasema kwamba hilo pia ni swali. Mtachora nyumba, ueleze juu, mkono wa kushoto, mkono wa kulia. Thank you.